Hey everybody, welcome to another good e-reader video tutorial. My name is Marcus. Today I'm going to teach you how to copy ebooks to your Skytex Primer Color. This is a brand new multimedia color e-reader. Retails for about $99. It does a whole lot more than just read ebooks. You can listen to music, watch videos, look at pictures, access the radio via the FM transmitter. You can also record your own notes via the built-in mic, built-in speaker, and then 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. For ebook formats, it reads a whole lot, such as PDF, HTML, EPUB, Mobi, a whole lot more. The downsides is that it does not have an internet browser, and it does not have any type of store where you can access and buy ebooks. So having this e-reader, although it is a deal, really ha makes you do a lot of legwork in order to copy books to the device from your computer. Many people don't know how to do that. So a good e-reader, we like to make things easy. And so we're gonna show you how to copy ebooks to your Skytex primer color that you may have purchased from other stores that you may have downloaded from the internet and various other ways. So we're gonna show you how to use Calibre, Adobe Digital Editions, and good old Windows Explorer. So the first thing you wanna do is plug via the mini USB into your e-reader. And you notice you see the proverbial USB sign here. That means you've facilitated a data connection. And we've also saw it popped up. So no drivers, nothing required, everything just installed properly. So the reason why you want to use Calibre is if you have a great amount of ebooks in your library, you want to convert ebooks from one format to another, or do a whole lot more of advanced things. So I have a book here called Unlocked by Courtney Milan. I'm going to edit the metadata and you can see here title, author, series, title sort, author sort, cover art. A lot of the times if you may have just download books from the internet, the title may be misspelled, there might be hyphens, the author name may be mixed in with the title, the book uploader name may be there, things may have misspellings and so on. So using Calibre allows you to a little have a little bit more flexibility in the way everything looks. A lot of times too when you download from books from the internet there might be no cover art so this is a way that you can add it. You can also do author sort, title sort so this is the way that would look on your e-reader so you may not want the comma there you may want the author's first name first and last name second it's all up to you. You can also add ISBN numbers, tags and so on and you can see here that the book is an EPUB format so that's a format that this e-reader reads. When we plug our device into Caliber a little icon will flash here called device and, and when we click there, nothing's there. So what we want to do is we want to add a book to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Add Books, Add Books from a Single Directory, and then click on the Courtney Milan book, Unlocked. And a check mark has appeared there, which means the ebook has been copied to our device. So it's very quick and simple. The last thing I want to show you to how to do is another reason Calibre shines is converting ebook formats from one format to another. In a lot of cases you may have an e-reader that does not read a format that you have say downloaded from the internet. So this book may be in LIT format or lit format and so because this e-reader does not read that format that's not to say that I just can't read this book and I should just delete it, but I could use Calibre to convert it from lit format to EPUB or to PDF or to another format that my e-reader reads. So this is handy not only for this e-reader, but for other e-readers you may have. The next program I want to show you how to use is Adobe Digital Editions. Adobe Digital Editions is mainly used if you have purchased e-books from other bookstores because this uh, e-reader, the Skytex Primer, it primarily does EPUB, which again is the most popular format on, on the internet. So you can buy books from Borders, Kobo, and a ton of other stores such as Smashwords and FictionWise. And then when you've purchased that content, all of the ebooks that you buy physically in the internet have digital rights management or DRM. And so it really prevents a lot of different ways to copy your ebook to your device and you would have to use Adobe Digital Editions. Incidentally, you can use Adobe Digital Editions to copy books that you have borrowed from the library to your e-reader. So you can also borrow books from the library on this device as well. So you can see here when we click on 
the SX700, there's a bunch of books here. What we want to do is show you how to copy a book to the device. So you click on Add, add on Library, then Add Item to Library. And I'm going to click on a book I bought here called Crossfire by James Patterson. So this book is on our platform, and what we want to do is left click so we can drag it around, and then drop it when we see the green symbol. So there's red everywhere, and then green. And the model number for this device is SXEB700. So it does not say Skytex Primer Color. It's registered with Adobe Digital Editions under the model number. So this is another way that you can do it. The final way is via Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer is like a great way for you to have no flexibility and just copy paste and everything like that. So you can see here's the directory that digital editions made so any book that you may copy the over in the future this is where it'll be listed so we only have one book here but if we copied over a hundred books a hundred books would be listed there you can see when we use caliber it created a directory with Milan comma Courtney and then in preloaded this is where the preloaded content goes so this is where the default books are this is where the default music is and the default videos uh, if you want to, as a bonus, copy music, there's a lot of different formats that this e-reader reads. Most of these are in MP3, so you can simply just drag and drop MP3s in here and add them to your playlist. Same with music, all the default ones here are MPEG-4, but it does read a lot of different formats. So what I want to do is, I want to create a new directory, and this is for the final ebook by Ransom Riggs. And then I have a book here, I can simply just copy, paste. I just drag and drop, but you could also right click copy, and then go into directory, right click again, and click paste. Uh, alternatively, you can just drag and drop it right into the root folder, but if you do that with more than 10 or 15 books, your default folder here can get kind of cluttered, and a lot of the times when you uh, download books often it's by authors that you like and most of the times they've written more than one book so it's always sort of good to organize your library into author names or maybe into genre names fantasy or whatever but this is just a way that you know you can do it with Windows Explorer so just to summarize I've showed you how to use Calibre which is a free program to manage your ebook library a little bit more effectively change cover art change ebook formats from one format to another. I've showed you how to use Adobe Digital Editions, which is also a free program and is mainly used to facilitate ebook transferring with books that are in encrypted, books that you purchased from other stores or uh, borrowed from the library, and then Windows Explorer, which is the method most people are familiar with but again it's the least flexible if you're a serious reader and you're serious about ebooks download caliber it's simply the best program and you also need adobe digital editions if you want to uh, purchase any content so let's just verify that all of everything works here properly so i'm going to click on ebooks So here's the book Crossfire. I can also, this e-reader does not have an accelerometer or gyroscope, but you can press a manual button to switch it from landscape to portrait mode, so that's handy. You can't change any fonts, margins, line space, or anything like that, but it does have a magnifying glass to make fonts larger or smaller, depending on where your comfort lies, but it has five different options to do that. In the end, it's $99. This does a ton of different things. If it had a web browser, this would seriously be the ultimate device that I would recommend to everybody. But in the end, it's definitely worth the $99. Considering a lot of e-readers on that price point do not have nearly the amount of features that this does, I really recommend it. And this tutorial simply taught you how to copy ebooks to your device. So hopefully you found it both informative 
and insightful. My name is Marcus. This is a Goody Reader tutorial and you can see further reviews on this e-reader and many more on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash Goody Reader or on our blog which is one of the best blogs on the internet in terms of e-reader, tablet PC news, digital publishing and a whole lot more. So check it out at goodyreader.com slash blog. Take care everyone.